Hey everybody, it's BuilderDude35 again, and in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can use the Pythagorean Theorem to build trusses to strengthen your LEGO structures. So in this video, I'm first going to be talking about what the Pythagorean Theorem is, then what trusses are, and then the, in the third part, I'm going to tell you how you can use the Pythagorean Theorem to more easily build trusses to strengthen your LEGO constructions. So now let's get to it. Okay, so first up, what is the Pythagorean Theorem? It is the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it refers to the length of the sides of a right triangle. A and B are the legs, which are the two shorter sides of the right triangle that come off of the right angle and C is always the hypotenuse, which is the longest side that is opposite the right angle. Using this equation, you can find the length of each side in a right triangle, because you know that when you square each of the legs and add them together, it always equals the square of the hypotenuse. So now we'll move on to Pythagorean triples. So what is a Pythagorean triple? It's a set of three whole numbers that satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Some examples are 3, 4, 5, 8, 15, 17, 5, 12, 13, and so on. And these are Pythagorean triples because when you plug each of these numbers into the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the value that comes out on the left side of the equation is always equal to the value on the right side of the equation. And always remember that the first two numbers in a triple represent the length of the legs, and the third number is the length of the hypotenuse. So next, what is a truss? A truss is essentially a triangle-shaped construction, and it's stronger than building in rectangles in most cases, because here when a rectangle can get bent and skewed, a triangle can't, because in order for that to happen, one of the side lengths of the truss has to change, and that's not exactly possible, so that can't happen. Why should you use trusses in FLL? They're stronger and sturdier construction, and they're great for something like a long arm that has to reach and could be in danger of bending. So how can the Pythagorean Theorem help you build LEGO trusses? Well, when you're normally trying to build triangles out of LEGO Technic beams, you really can't get the triangle without using weird angles or getting the pieces to bend and you don't want either of those. But using the Pythagorean Theorem, you can make right angle trusses that fit neatly with your constructions, and using a Pythagorean triple, you know exactly how many studs long each of the sides of the right triangle is. For example, in the three, four, five triple, the one side is going to be three studs long, the other is four studs long, and then the hypotenuse, the longest side of the right triangle, is going to be five studs long. And as a bonus, if you need to meet, uh, make bigger trusses, what you can do is you double the, the triple. So instead of 3, 4, 5, it becomes 6, 8, 10, and then so on. Pretty cool, right? Here are some sample trusses that I've made using Pythagorean triples. The one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind when building Technic trusses is that to compensate for each side overlapping another, what you're going to have to do is you need to make each side of the triangle one stud longer than the triple. For example, here I have a 6, 8, 10 triangle, but in reality the sides are actually 7, 9, 11 studs long, and this is to compensate for the overlapping sides. Thank you for watching my tutorial this week. And if you like this, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials every Thursday. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.